Hello, everybody. So I've been uh, kind of wanting to do a portfolio update. Uh, this is all live. It's raw. It's unscripted. Um, there's been a bunch of I've had a bunch of comments on uh, Twitter, Facebook and uh, from YouTube uh, about doing my stock portfolio update. So I wanted to just kind of go through and I'm just going to go step by step and just show you every single one of these uh, stocks that I have. Um, and then maybe we'll kind of go through later. And if anyone watches, I'll answer some some questions and, and we'll we'll talk about them. So anyways, here we go. Uh, so first on the list, of course, Tesla. Uh, I'm not going to be selling, I'm going to be holding. Um, I've got 35.4 shares. It's probably my average price. Let's see what uh, my price. Oh, it's current price. Average cost. There we go. Sorry. <laughs> Slow. All right. Uh, 12,000 12, total return. And I got 28,000 equity in there. We got FUV, 45 shares. I actually sold some of FUV recently, which I was a little bit uh, regretting, a lot regretting, because um, it's it's bumped up quite a bit. Look at that average price right there, $6. That was a good one. Um, and let's see where we're at now. Uh, and that's Arkhamoto. FUV, that's a fun utility vehicle. My next favorite, Arkhamoto. Uh, it's a three-wheeled electric uh, yeah, fun utility vehicle. If no one knows about it, check it out. Hyperchange is now uh, one of the directors, I believe, uh, board of directors on that company. That's really exciting. I got into that. I, I have a, a couple clips of that, actually, from Fully Charged Live here in Austin. I got to sit in one and... and um, just it was it's a really great vehicle love uh, the Arkhamoto and then we got Ehang right there uh, EH EH is a drone taxi com uh, company I believe they're servicing out of China let's see if I can get this bigger for you right here whoopsies there we go oh cool Ehang yeah we'll do that and uh, so I bought it down in the $20, and look at this. this is, I, I bought it down in here, right about 20 bucks. I mean, it is on a tear. And as a drone pilot myself, I was like, oh, sure, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to invest in Ehang because it's, it's a drone taxi service. And look at that, boom, 100 bucks now. I wish I would have bought more of Ehang. All right. Ehang, check it out. <clears throat> then we got Neo. Most people know who Neo is. Got 25 shares of Neo. Um, Neo, I think the best part about Neo is they got the battery swapping system going. It's kind of going the opposite direction of uh, Tesla. But um, you know, I have I have I have some Neo. I, I believe Neo. I, I try to go into anything electric, and that was my thought in the beginning. And then later kind of refocused back down into just Tesla and a few of the top ones. But Neo, I feel, is always going to be a good play. Um, and it is down right now. So Neo actually could be a good one for anyone looking. I mean, it's still way up there um, overall. But I think it's going to, it has a lot more room to grow. Uh, let's see. Arc, Arc Q. I got pretty much all the Arcs. Got Arc Q. Uh, 9.172 shares and it's up all of these are up ideonomics ideonomics i love ideonomics i think that's just it's one of those cool smaller companies just starting out my average price in is 244 and right now it's at 478 it's ideonomics is an electric tractor company uh, I think that's really cool. They do electric tractors. Let's see if I can get you a picture. Deonomics. They do, uh, and I think that's really cool. My my mom, she uh, owns a tractor. She has a bunch of tractors and owns a ranch and stuff. So we got uh, Ideonomics right there, the Soul Track. The partnering with that company to try to bring an electric tractor into play. <clears throat> 
We got Nano Dimensions. I think Nano Dimensions is a great play. Um, can't go wrong with Nano Dimensions. It's going to be booming over time. I believe it's like a it's a 3D uh, printing company. Gauges and intelligent machines for the fabrication and uh, additively manufactured electronics. Product services include Dragonfly Pro Systems, conductive and insulating inks, optimized multi-material designs, and complex electronics. Nano Dimensions. Uh, Arc Invest invest in in NDM. We got Sundial Growers. Bought that down at 53 cents. It's now at 253. Shutterstock. I am a Shutterstock photographer. So not only do I put my photos on the Shutterstock portfolio as well, and I'm growing my Shutterstock portfolio, which is kind of like a, a dividend, a passive income that I get. So I do Shutterstock as a photographer, but I'm also uh, kind of trading their shares. And right now it bumped up high. I sold two shares today of Shutterstock and um, I get a dividend and it's bumped up quite a bit. So um, we'll see how that goes. Uh, the First Trust Global Wind Energy Fan. <clears throat> I love Fan as well. It's constantly going up, dips every now and then, and then I buy one share. I was buying around twenty bucks. It's my average right now is twenty one dollars, and um, it's going up. I think at twenty four right now. It's kind of on a dip, but uh, but yeah, I'm up seventy one bucks there. It's great. Uh, blink charging. See if I can make this bigger. There we go. We got Blink. Got some Aurora Cannabis. 7.6 shares there. Made 50 bucks there. Arc K. 1.8 shares there. 50 bucks there. We got the Arc uh, G. Three shares of that. Uh, Tuscan Holdings. Five shares of that. I got Aqua Metals, 10 shares of Aqua Metals. I'll buy Aqua Metals every now and then when it's down. This doesn't happen too often. Farmland Partners. I've been trading this every now and then. Um, and I like Farmland Partners. It's kind of a way to kind of have something different. I, guess I, I bought a few shares of Sony a while back. Been selling it at, at every now and then. <clears throat> Maybe they'll come out with the Sony electric car. That'd be amazing. Gladstone Land. Gladstone Land is a, uh, I want to say, um, I forget exactly which part, but that was a land play with, uh, um, they do, oh yeah, it's leasing, farming. Owning and leasing farmlands. Thought that'd be a good thing, which it's on a, it's going up. Let's check out there. One year chart here. It's just not too bad. Global X funds, Global X drive, ticker center DRIV. I got three and a half shares there, made 15 bucks there. Camping World. I actually bought a share of this on a whim because of Rivian. Rivian, I believe, is going to be doing a partnership with uh, Camping World. So if that goes through, that'd be pretty cool. Uh, Aqua Bounty, I believe ARK Invest also invests in uh, Aqua Bounty as well. Aqua Bounty is a, uh, I think they do things like uh, salmon farming and stuff like that. It's a, a land-based aquaculture service. And the thing I like about um, land-based aquaculture services is that you um, you don't have it mess up the wildlife in the ocean you know and you're not messing up the species and the native fish in the environment if it's a land-based aquaculture so i really i really dig that um can you say again why you like sony i don't really like sony to be totally honest uh it's not really something i like i, I, would, I wouldn't say i like sony um i bought sony a while back just because it was one of those names um and where we were we on that 
and I've kind of sold it a little bit. The reason why I could like Sony is if they come out with that electric car. There's talks that Sony's going to come out with the electric car. I mean, I do like Sony for this reason. And actually, you know, I take that back. As a company, as products, if you go around my house, I used to only have Sony products. I love Sony TVs. They're solid. But more recently, I've started purchasing Sony uh, Samsung TVs. Um, I own a Sony A7R2. I think the Sony A7R2 mirrorless cameras are solid. But all of those things don't make me want to invest in the company other than maybe the electric car, something like huge. But I like their chart. Um, and honestly, it's just maybe it was because it was one of those older names and I've seemed to, I seem to purchase or get into stocks that are those kind of newer names and like smaller companies. Um you know, something that might not be up here yet. It might still be down here in the cheaper scale. So, but we'll see if it, if it goes down or has a dip, I, I'm not against purchasing some fractions or some shares of Sony. Um, it just, it never really was a play, I guess, that I thought I would want to get into. Um, Organigram actually purchased a bunch of weed stocks a couple years ago, a year or two ago, and most of them were in the negatives. Organigram um, just recently exploded, and it's kind of had dipped down. Look at that. Explosion's crazy. Hey, how you doing, Tropical Fruits? How are you doing today? And you as well, Andrew. How you doing? All right. And so, I mean, it's a pretty good dip right now, I think. So it might actually be a good time to buy back in. But I think I perch started buying Organigram... Um, down in the uh i don't know why it's taking so long yeah see so i had purchased it i want to say up here and then it kept going down and this is this is when i learned a lot about investing and i got scared it was going negatives it was going negatives and i would keep buying every now and then and then it finally evened out and then finally came back up and then i mean look how fast of a change things can happen and then boom. So I only have eight shares of it. I've sold a bunch. I'm still up though on the eight shares I have left. Aqua Bounty, 10.5 shares. Again, we talk about uh, Romeo Power. Not really a huge one that I like or anything. I heard about it. I was trying to do some EV plays at the time, but uh, see, it's down on the short end, but uh, Look at that spike right there. Man, it spiked up big time. I should have sold right there. But we'll see where it goes. Not a big player on Romeo Power. I might actually sell um, sell my Romeo Power. Let's see. And again, I'm doing this pretty on the go here. I'm, I really only set up for mobile live streaming. So, uh, But I wanted to get this out. I wanted to just do it just so it's out there and uh, see if I help someone or see if I can find a community around this and maybe see why other people might get into the same stocks or might want to. Uh, Genius Brand. I heard, I heard that so, a lot of people were shorting Genius Brand. It's one of Shaquille O'Neal's brand. And when I read what the company was and got looking into the company... It engages in developing, producing, and marketing of licensed children's entertainment properties. He sounded pretty passionate about it. He sounded like he liked it, um, liked what he was doing. And I honestly just kind of wanted to support Shaq on this. Um, and it, it hasn't been too bad for me. I sold a little bit of it. I think I sold about half my position. Um, no, no, I haven't. I've just been buying a little bit. Yeah, 171.72 or $1.71 is my average in, and, you know, I made 10 bucks. Uh, Electrifier, oh, Solo. Electric Canada Vehicles. This is out of uh, Canada, I believe. I purchased at 3 bucks. This I've sold a bunch. I think I at one point had about 100 Solo shares, and I sold most of them when it popped. 
So let's see where that was. It was right there. <laughs> so yeah, I sold most of them right in this area, I think. And just didn't want to like... I honestly felt that Arkimoto was a better play than Solo. That's why I did it. I, and I put most of that into Arkimoto and Tesla. But got out of Solo. But I still like Solo. I think it's cool. So I just kept two shares. I think kind of for shits and giggles. I don't know if I can say that. Oh, well. Um, and then we got some Dropbox. Only got Dropbox because of, uh, what's his name? James? Is it James? A big YouTuber. He's got tons of like a million followers or so. Um, yeah, he's always playing promoting Dropbox. So I got some Dropbox. Afria. Let me see here. Uh, have you ever read any books by R. Buckminster Fuller? Name sounds familiar, but no, I, I don't believe so. I haven't really read too many stock books, but that's a great idea. I should. I watch a lot of documentaries and videos. I heard of a Swedish company called Minesto. They are into tidal energy. Oh, that sounds cool. Pretty cool IMO. Tidal is so predictable and consistent every day. Oh, I would. I am totally game for tidal energy. Maybe like tidal energy mixed with battery storage. You know, it seems like we should just have places that have it all. Because places that seem to have a bunch of tides seem to would also have wind. You know, why don't we have wind, tides, and battery storage? That seems like a pretty no-brainer. Um, let me see what might look better for you guys. See, there we go. All right. Realty income. A lot of people know who realty income is. Ticker symbol O. And I got four shares. 62 it's at 62 right now and i bought it at 60 bucks mainly for the dividends and i made 10 bucks arrow arrow i think i got into arrow because it was actually um actually maybe i'll come back and say hi here i'll say hi while the computer loads because the computer's taking forever to load so arrow i got to i want to say it was a uh uh, Round Rock, Texas company here in Round Rock, and so I thought that was really cool. So I got into got into it for that. Uh, man, why is this taking forever to load? I'm gonna read this to you. Oh, there it goes. All right. Engage in the designs compact electric fleet solutions for use within urban and short hauling markets. It offers the Aero 311, the Club Car 411. Yep. It was founded on May 19th, 2016, and is headquartered in Round Rock, Texas. So that's why I got into this company. I thought that was pretty cool. And it was pretty cheap. It's only 10 bucks right now. Right, let me go ahead and fix this here. Don't know what's going on. So, all right, why are you not showing me? All right, sorry about this, guys. But I'm gonna fix it, I promise you. I I do not even know how to get back to that screen now. I cannot find that screen. I just, it won't even load. Oh. That's ridiculous.
Oh, I don't want to turn the live stream off. Um, I, why do they make this so complicated? It's just not there anymore. Oh, it's so stupid. <laughs> this is why I don't do this. I need to get my OBS set up and stuff in a webcam. I mean, it just shows each one in the big view, and it's not showing the other view that I just had. It just shows it on the side. If anybody has, if anybody has an idea how to do this, let me know. I'm on the, I'm trying to show my Robin Hood on PC, and I can't find the screen anymore that shows all my, all my stocks. Oh, there it goes. It just wasn't loading. It just sucks. Okay. Robin Hood, you suck. Get, get your stuff together. Well, well let's talk about the cryptocurrencies. So that's my Bitcoin right there. I got uh, 0 0.066 Bitcoins. Uh, average cost buy-in was 29000 and the average price or the price right now is 47000 so I'm up about 1100 <clears throat> on Bitcoin um, and Ethereum and I also had some Litecoin but most of Litecoin I've sold and put back into Ethereum and then I'm basically just going to be sticking to Ethereum and BTC um, let me know what you think if anyone else has has any uh, Bitcoin or any of that. He doesn't write about stock market, but you can learn something about Wall Street. Yeah, definitely. I love stuff like that. Uh, can you please tell us what your life's philosophy is? My life's philosophy? Man, I don't know. That's a good one. I think that's going to have to be for another video, a life philosophy video. Um, just right now, my deal is to uh, let's see hold on real quick oh, check out that guy see I don't know what it just disappeared again Yeah, I don't know what's up with this. It's not showing at all now. All right, boys and girls. Well. Come on, Robin Hood. Why do y'all have to do this? All right, maybe I can just use this. It's just, it takes way too long. Robin, and your website sucks. Like, for real, your website sucks, dude. Like, Robin Hood, what is even up? I I, I want to get out I want to get out of Robinhood just for this reason alone because of how badly your website sucks. It won't load.
well, it's not working. Won't load anymore. Well, I got about halfway through the portfolio at least, and, and I knew this would probably happen. But at least I'm happy that it was because Robinhood sucks so bad, and I can blame it on them because that is definitely for sure. <laughs> 